Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a video uh, on uh, software defined radio. Uh, I'm trying to explore different applications which are there for software defined radio in Dragon OS Focal. Uh, a very beautiful distribution uh, where you don't need to worry about compiling softwares and where you don't have to worry about uh, drivers for different type of SDR platforms. So for example, like uh, I have connected my Erlen Pluto SDR. Uh, I have Hack RF, RTL SDR, Dongle, Blade RFs, uh, USRPs, different type of USRPs. So the cool thing about this distribution uh, that I have found out that you don't have to worry about different type of tools. It already comes with a lot of tools which are pre-compiled. So you don't have to worry about compiling them again. Uh, and then always you have to worry about dependencies and things like that. So the tool that we're going to explore today is going to be an SDR angel. I made a couple of videos on it, uh, but there's going to be a different set, a different kind of video. Uh, why? Because I'm using, using my Adlam Pluto SDR in a full duplex mode to transmit and receive simultaneously. So I'm going to transmit from my transmitting end and I'm going to receive on my receiving end using a software called SDR Angel. So SDR Angel is there. Go to Ham Radio and look for SDR Angel. Uh, I think I made a brief, uh, briefer version of SDR Angel, uh, but this time I'm making a lengthier version where I'm going to show you how you can transmit and receive. The cool thing about Adlam Pluto SDR is that Adlam Pluto SDR has it's a full duplex system where you don't have to worry about. Uh, so once you have this thing is connected, you can transmit and receive simultaneously. The frequency range that Ad Adlam Pluto SDR comes is from 325 megahertz all the way up to 3.8 gigahertz, but you can always upgrade the firmware. Uh, you can go to their website and you can upgrade the firmware. So I'm just going to use a default firmware that is operating from 325 megahertz all the way up to 3.8 gigahertz. I haven't get a chance to actually upgrade the firmware yet, but uh, I will inshallah. Uh, so once you open this up, uh, the cool thing about SDR Angel is that you can add a transmitting stream and you can add a receiving stream as well. So uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, transmit from one end. So I'm going to add a transmitting device. So once you add your transmitting device, click on this refresh, just refresh it. It will automatically pick up the driver for, for your Pluto SDR. Remember, I'm using Dragon Focal OS, so everything is there. I don't have to worry about anything else. So I'm just simply go to my drop down menu and I'm going to click one of these guys. It doesn't matter which one you click. Okay, just click OK. So it will add a controller and it will add in a spectrum plus a waterfall graph. So I'm just going to simply, so here you will see the spectrum, here you will see the waterfall graph. Uh, I'm going to leave the frequency at 435 megahertz. So I'm just going to leave it as default frequency. Then I'm going to add a receiving device. I'm going to refresh this again. Go to my drop down menu. Since I'm using Pluto SDR, I'm going to click this and I'm going to select this. And now I have a controller for my SDR uh, receiver. And I have a control for my SD, uh, the spectrum for my SDR receiver. So I have my transmitter and my receiver. So just so spectrum plus waterfall. Uh, okay. So I have my transmitting and device. The cool thing about Pluto SDR uh, SDR Angel is this: you can click here on your transmitting end, and you can add channels. So for example, you want to transmit a signal, and it will show you what you're transmitting. And there are different modulators which are available. So starting from 802.15.4, which is for your Bluetooth or Zigbee. Uh, uh, and then from AI, AIS modulator, AM modulator, anything that you want. You can select the modulator you want. I'm going to choose for the demo purposes w, WFM. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to apply. So now this would give me another window, which is right here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I am still going to transmit on 435 megahertz. All right. You can change the frequency, whatever you want. Remember, FM is just a technology. It doesn't have to be that frequency. You're just actually modulating using FM. You can use any carrier frequency you want. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit play. So it's going to start transmitting. So it is transmit, start transmitting an FM signal. Now, in order for me to visualize this, I'm going to turn on my receiver and you will see that the spectrum is changing right here. You, you can see that there's FM happening. So just to make sure that it is actually FM, I'm just going to turn off my transmitting transmitter and you can see there's nothing going on on the spectrum. So just to show you, once you turn on your transmitter, so this port is transmitting and this port is receiving. Uh, 
of course there's an issue because the antennas are too close i just want to show you the capability of the software plus the hardware itself which is adlum pluto sdr you don't have to worry about um, making a signals and things like that the cool thing about adding channels is this let me turn off uh, turn on uh, uh, turn on turn off my transmitter the cool thing about this is uh, if you have worked on your vector rf generators they have different modulation schemes where you can generate a test signal to actually see the performance of your receiver and things like that so this sdr angel is sort of giving you that cap that capability where you can generate a signal uh, just like in vector uh, generators that and you can see the effect of it on your receiver when you're designing a receiver that's the cool thing about this uh, adding channels let me just close this channel and let's try to do one add a channel and i want to do an add a channel which is related to 802.15.4 which is probably for zigbee added a 802.15.4 uh, channel uh, and i'm going to transmit so the cool thing about this is this is a data string which is 44 55 this is an hexadecimal this is what it's going to transmit uh, this is just repeatedly going to transmit that same data. You can change this data by, by deleting it and writing down your own data. Uh, but I'm just going to leave this as default just to show you the capability of this modulator, uh, this type of a, a vector a modulating uh, modulator. Uh, I'm going to press this. So this is just going to keep repeating this thing again and again. And I'm going to hit transmit. And it's going to start transmitting this. So once I have this transmitting, I'm going to hit play. You can clearly see that it's transmitting. Now just to see that my receiver is receiving, that you can see my receiver is receiving. So this is what is being transmitted here. And it's just transmitting this same data stream again and again and again and again because I have selected the loop uh, repeat button. So this will repeatedly transmit this data stream that you're seeing right now here. Uh, and you can clearly see at the receiving end. I can just stop this and when I press it one time it's just going to transmit one time and it's going to stop so that's the cool thing uh, let's say what other modulators that I have available I can play around with I can just press stop on this and I'm going to add channel and uh, uh, let's say I want to do aim modulator so I'm just going to simply apply and I'm going to close this and I'm going to hit play and you will see this and I'm going to hit play again. This should start transmitting. Uh, play. And you can see that it's transmitting an AM modulator signal. Why I can see this is my carrier and this and this is going to be FC plus FM and FC minus FM. So these are the two things that you can, uh, you can uh, have a look at it. What other type of channels I have available? Let me stop this and let me try something else let's try psk31 modulator a very common modulator that we normally use let me just apply this and uh, all right let me just close this so i just accidentally turn all right so this is my psk modulator uh, let me make it smaller and so it's going to transmit of course it also has a data set stream so for example if i want to transmit the home 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 let's just simply click on this and click on that loop to retransmit just transmit this and turn on this and you can clearly see that this is what this is the text which is being transmitted on my left hand side and it's just going to keep transmitting this again and again and again and again because i have pressed that repeated button if i just do it one time it's just going to transmit one time and it's just going to stop. Hope so. It should. So that's the idea uh, behind it. Uh, let's look at some other modulator. Let me just close this and add a channel again. And instead of PSK3, I'm going to do, let's say I want to do some uh, file channel source. I want to do some file channel source. I'm going to hit apply and I can select a file, I can select a WAV file, like for example, I don't have any WAV file right now, but you can select a WAV file and you can also transmit that WAV file as well. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, uh, last thing that I want to do, um, let's do SSB or let's do UDP or let's do narrowband transmission. 
let's do AIS modulator. I haven't played around with this yet. All right. Uh, so AIS, as we know, this is for maritime uh, transmission.